we run a wet shop here, which means it's not a big dust cloud to the shop. In a shop where all the dry grinding's done, it's really bad for your lungs. So a long-term exposure could lead to silicosis. To have a wet process means, though, that we consume an awful lot of water. We go through, with all of our machines running, somewhere in the neighborhood of 100 gallons a minute. If we were to be using city water for that, the water bills each month would be huge. So we went with a, a closed loop water filtration system where all of the water that's used in the shop collects to a pit in the shop. And this filtration system filters that water out, separates the solids, and is able to produce crystal clear water that we can then reuse back at our machines over and over again. That adds up to an annual savings of six to seven million gallons of water per year. Not only does that save us money, it's environmentally conscious. Another thing that we're doing is we've started crushing our leftover granite material. Material that normally ends up in the landfill, thousands of tons per year, we're now able to crush up and sell to landscape supply companies for use in people's yards. After all of the parts are cut out on our saw jet, they can go to one of three different places. One of those places is a CNC router which is able to cut and shape an edge in any shape. It can cut arcs, lines, circles. It really doesn't care what shape it is, and it'll produce it beautifully. So once you start the program, um, each one of these processes will take uh, six to seven heads to cut. And the machine will automatically grab the head that it needs to perform a particular step, and when it's done, it goes and puts that one back and goes ahead and gets the next one. The next place that it could go is a machine called the Velocity. The Velocity is a multi-head polisher where the material is actually fed through the machine. The advantage of this for us is that it's an incredibly fast edging machine. The result of all of these machines is perfectly straight lines and a very smooth finish when all is said and done. Our finishers are inspecting each piece as they do the final polishing on it to make sure that everything's been done to it that needs to be done. Another thing we've invested in in our shop are the cranes. They let us move the stone, which is very heavy, with just a push of a button. The idea uh, that we have is for our in installers, we want them to go out to a job site and be able to put the pieces in pretty much like Tinker Toys. Pretty much an installation will be two to three hours and they're done. And that's enabled because they're using these tools and the computers uh, to make it very, very precise. One of the tools we use on the installation is the Gorilla Grip. This tool helps us get the seams flat, level, and very tight together. We use Gorilla Grips to make sure that the install goes perfectly, because if the install doesn't go perfectly, everything before that doesn't matter. Bedrock Quartz has consistently grown over the last five years due to our, our commitment to quality and service. By us taking care of our customers, our customers are going to tell their friends about it. This is an industry where if you get referrals, word of mouth is everything. What I like about the stone uh, is the, the movement in the stone with the veining and um, the pieces of garnet in it, um, which I find fascinating. Each piece has its own character and uh, I like the way the lights pick up the color and it seems to fit with the wood and, and the stainless steel with bits of color of all of that in it. It couldn't have been better. Looking back on the process and the quality that we got from them, we would definitely use Bedrock again. And I think that the ideas that they had and the uh, showroom that they had and their uh, overall their facility is um, phenomenal and far and above anything else that we did look at or consider. I found Bedrock Quartz to be better than most companies to deal with in their professionalism and, and their honesty and fairness. And while I make them competitively bid, all products that they deliver for us, I found them to deliver highest quality product at the best possible price. And in this business, I don't know what else there is. We have a lot of visitors come to Bedrock. So they come here and look at these things. They are simply enthralled. And in many ways, they look at what we have here as sort of the end product. We don't see it that way. And our viewpoint, everything we've done before is prologue. So for us, the future is both unknown but exciting because we know we'll take advantage of every opportunity. And I think from what has been said of Bedrock that a lot of people are pleased with not only the treatment that they get here, but the kind of a product they get here. 
and the kind of service that they get here.